I am a Muslim. There's something about me. I'm a Muslim guy. Are there, are there any Muslims here? <laughs> oh, you two? Two right up front. Thank you. I needed support. Good. Yeah, people hate us a lot. I don't know if you know that. It sucks. Anytime there's a conflict, they always wheel out these hacks to talk about Muslims. They, they use the same bullshit buzzwords. They're always like, hey, I want to see a moderate Muslim denounce terror. Show me one of them moderate Muslims today, if there's so many. Show me a moderate one denounce terror. It's like, what a demeaning label to give a, a billion people, right? It's like, you got your moderate Muslims, your mild Muslims, your sweet and sour Muslims, that's your uh, teriyaki Muslims. Lemon pepper. And also, we do denounce terror all the time, but nobody puts a camera on that. Nobody wants to see people be moderate. It's boring. You want to see people jump up and down and be crazy. It's the whole point of the fucking news system is to sensationalize everything and make it look worse than it is. It makes me so fucking mad. <laughs> I just want to blow some shit up, you know? I just want to, like, <laughs> murder. I just want to <laughs> kill. Anyone else have that instinct circulating in their blood? Anybody got that? Yeah. What's up? We're very judgmental of each other. That's something you might not know about Muslims. We, we judge each other a lot more than other people, you know? Like one time I got off stage and I was uh, after a show and this brown guy made a beeline for me from the audience and he got to me and he was like, hey, he said, you're Muslim too? And I was like, yeah. He was like, but you don't pray five times a day. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ, all right, that's uh... He was basically like, oh, you're Muslim? Name four of their albums. Like, he did that thing. <laughs> other religions don't do that. I don't think other religions, I don't think Catholics are walking up to each other like, you're Catholic too? Bet you wouldn't fuck my son. You know, they're not doing the same. <laughs> All right. Some groans, that's good, good. I'm Arab too. Um, Arab? Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. A larger Arab component. Interesting. Hell yeah. I think Arabs, I think we're really cute. Yeah, I think it's sad that people don't know. We're, I think we're very adorable. Like, if I had to rank the races on cuteness, and I will, hold your horses. If I had to rank the races on uh, Arabs top 10, dude. Easy. We're adorable, man. What? Big fact. Big fact. Cool, yeah. <laughs> You're disproving the point I'm making. I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> You're terrifying. <laughs> Here's something about Arabs. Every Arab man hits a certain age and becomes a poet. Every Arab guy hits like 37, 38, becomes like a Shakespearean soliloquist, <laughs> speaking in verse and rhyme. And, like, have, have you ever talked to your Uber driver before? <laughs> like, like, had an actual kind of like, Mahmoud, how's your day? He'd be like, oh, the wind beneath my feet is the moon upon a spoon. Oh, the white, like everything rhymes, it's so cute. Like when I was a kid, I used to envy white kids because a white kid's dad could just tell him to do something, you know what I mean? Like, a, like, you know, if your dad wanted you to go get milk from the store, he could just say that, son, go get milk. And you'd go, yes, father. <laughs> and then you'd go colonize Kenya or something. <laughs> I'm always getting up to trouble. <laughs> if my dad ever wanted me to go to the store to get milk, it'd be a whole production. He'd be like, Ismail, please go to the store and buy for our home the nourishing white water. <laughs> for our domicile, the cream from the Momo machine. And I'd be like, well, now I'm hard. Like, what do you want from me? I'm, I have a fucking massive erection now. You want me to go to Publix with a boner talking about... I don't know how that got the biggest reaction. All right. Hell yeah. Cool.